validity of 356 oh, exactly. we, we are on the question of power well, I, i'll be dealing with the power of 356 but well, when we come to 356 what happens is that i will ultimately well, my trend of thought uh, will Make be dis- because okay. I, amendment of 370 itself how can the president exercise that power under d no we are now looking at the three exercise of the power to substitute 367 The president has an unquestioned power to do it. Yes. When there is a government in existence, it is conditioned by the requirement of concurrence. Yes. Now, what happens when the government has been superseded under 356? I'm just amendment. But 370 itself postulates that it can be abrogated, no, and 37 to say that it can postulate to efface Article 3. Then I have no answer. No, no. Then I have no answer. No, no. This is simple. The question was slightly different. different stands operating here one stand arises out of the exercise of the power under 356 Correct. under 356 you have no power to amend the constitution Correct. if you exercise the power under 356 in relation to any other state in india Correct. you can't amend the constitution yes, 370 is a provision exclusively uh, in operation in relation to jammu and kashmir at the relevant time Correct. so the power which they were exercising was the power under clause d of subsection 1 of, of of clause 1 of article 370 correct right. absolutely right but unfortunately malas they couldn't do that because clause 1 dealt with instrument of accession subject subject related to instrument of accession and then in list concurrent list issues no clause d is wider than that wider we are referring to clause a we are referring to clause d yes clause i'm reading all clause a also d requires the concurrence of that government That's correct. That is the JNK government. That and that is government means government council of ministers, Malad. Government is not government under the. But tell us what happens when there is a 356 in operation in uh, uh, the, the the state of JNK. Malad, let's put it this way, Malad. How does 356 in normal circumstances happen? Malad, the governor sends a report. The report is that the provisions of the constitution cannot be carried on right. in this particular state. The govern the 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 the, the, the government of India. Under 356, Malad takes over. Right. Right. Now, at that time, the assembly is in suspended animus. That's the normal way that it is done. You keep the assembly in suspended animation. You exercise your powers. Ultimately, the intent is to restore democracy. So, therefore, Malad, towards the end of it, when you know that elections should be held and you want restoration of democracy, you dissolve the assembly. And then you hold election. Oh, well, Mr. Sibyl, the question put was slightly different. Now come to three seventy clause D. Right. Such other provisions of the Constitution shall apply in relation to the state, subject to exceptions and modifications as the President may may by an order specify. Now, as far as this is concerned, therefore, the amendment was made to clause four to section three seven three sixty seven, which is the interpretation clause. now the proviso says no for provided further that no such order which relates to matters other than those specified in the last proviso preceding proviso shall be shall be issued except with the concurrence of the government right. the concurrence of the government is the explanation that part concurrently subjects no concurrence no, no. of the government and the constitution is the, both, both the, the legislative the of india as well as concurrently let's let's assume council of aid and advice of the constitution of Aid and advice of the council of ministers for the time being in an office. Yes. Now, when we turn to three fifty six. Yes. Now three fifty six applies. Yes. Three fifty six applies. Of course, of course. Now, if we turn to three fifty six, then we have to go into what is the power if three fifty six provision has been invoked. Who will exercise the power of the council of ministers under the terms of Article three seventy one? Right. So now the issue would be whether the governor could have exercised that power or not. No, Malad. But at the moment, I have not reached three fifty six, Malad. May I make my submissions when I reach it, Malad? Okay. Malad, this is I. I, I will delve into another. Text no, we are not on the validity of three fifty six. Exactly. We, we are on the question of power. Malad, I, I'll be dealing with the power of three fifty six, Malad. When we come to three fifty six, what happens is that I will ultimately, Malad, my trend of thought. uh will be dis- because okay. i i have but we just formulated and leave it at that that once 
upon the proclamation under 356, all the powers of the government of the state are vested in the president. Administrative powers. The, all the, yes. Administrative. Then can the president, in the exercise of the second proviso to clause D of Article 371. Amend the Constitution. No, not amend the Constitution. Yes. Exercise the power to grant a con concurrence. Murat, concurrence, concurrence what? Quay which subjects? Please appreciate. Either the applicability of the Constitution, right, with, mod with, with, with modifications and exceptions, or Malad's applicability of, li of, of, of list in, in the concurrent list. That's all. That's all that there is. It can't be more than that. You and the pres president has the power to issue an adaptation order. Yes. Under clause, under the second proviso to clause D, the president can issue an adaptation order. Correct. When you have a regular government and a legislative assembly in place, you require the concurrence of the government. Correct. Right? Yes. Now, where the power of the government has been vested in the president under 356, it yes. cannot be that the power of the president to issue an order of adaptation is taken away. Correct. Now, who will exercise that power, uh, that, that power of concurrence? The president is. It can't be contrary to, three, uh, to, to clause D of uh, 373D. It can't be that, Malaj. No, but that power can't be exercised by the president. No, Mr. Sibyl, 370D says that no such order which relates to a matter other than referred to in the last preceding clause shall be issued except with the concurrence of that government. Yes. Now, that government means the state government. No, it means now, Council what, of Ministers. Uh -huh, Council of Ministers. Now, what happens when a 356 notification is issued? Please. In which case, will we say that that power cannot be exercised at all by the President? I, I'm going to ask, I, I'm going, I'll answer that then. Mother's kindly read, read Mother's C. And D, such of the other provisions of the Constitution. That is excluding Article 1 and 370. Well, under D, the President has the power to issue adaptations of the Constitution, which are all these orders that we are now seeing. The other provisions of the Constitution. It says, D says that, Mother. Okay. Which of the other, excluding 1 no, and excluding 370. This is an amendment of 370 itself. How can the president exercise that power under D? No, we are now looking at the three exercise of the power to substitute 367. Yes, but that effectively is the amendment to the constitution. The, to C70. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sibyl, the president has the power to amend the constitution or create exceptions by taking recourse to the power under clause D, the second proviso. The president has an unquestioned power to do it. Yes. When there is a government in existence, it is conditioned by the requirement of concurrence. Yes. Now, what happens when the government has been superseded under 356? I'm just using superseded in a loose expression. Yes. If the government has ceased to exist by the exercise of the power under 356, the entirety of the power of the government is now vested in the president. But even the government cannot change Article 1, 370, Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly can't. You're right. Absolutely. Therefore, the executive can't go beyond that. You're right. Therefore, the government the, the government also has no power to, to amend 370 by itself. No, can't change the scheme of 370. Forget about amendment. But 370 itself postulates that it can be abrogated. No, and 3, 370 to say that it can postulate to efface Article 3, then I have no answer. No, no, then I have no answer. No, no. Mr. Sibyl, the question was slightly different. The question is slightly different. Now, under 